It's done by this award-winning psychologist. You have to answer all these questions. But makes you think, how well do you know yourself, what you're supposed to do? What if you change some of the answers, change some of your appetites, your instincts? Would that change what you're supposed to be doing? Hmm. Anyway, I took the test. I tried to be honest about it. And we know that Sam's basically perfect. Let's see what I'm supposed to be doing. Shoes for me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> everyone, the good news is gas prices are dropping. GMA has given me the chance to talk to characters from all walks of life. Often I'm side by side by people in the most intense occupations. Sometimes I even get to try my hand at some of the most amazing professions. All of them a far cry from the dreams of my childhood, which were grounded in practicality. I like the idea of being a teacher. I always liked the idea of the law, and I always like to eat. That said, maybe my first job pointed to my current paycheck position. My first job was Paperboy. Collection day was always a little tricky. People not quite as available on collection day as they should be. So with all the experience I've had, I figured this test wouldn't tell me anything I didn't already know about what might be right for me. In other words, I was a cynic. I think that you can't just base whether somebody will be good at what they do in life based on what their aptitudes are, or their preferences. Often, uh, you wind up being good at whatever you do because you become dedicated to it. I would have never thought that I'd be good at what I'm doing now. <laughs> Maybe I'm not. <laughs> Still, I sat down and answered all nine million questions with an open mind. Fix electrical things, I like that. Repair cars, I like that. Fix mechanical things, I like that. Automobile racer. Chief Cook. Let's go with that. Work in research uh, office or laboratory. Yeah. Operate office machines. Who, who likes that? Finally, I made it through all the sections, subsections, and sub subsections. Ah, this is an inventory of your feelings and attitudes about many kinds of work. I can use an automated posting receipt. What is that? Click on yes for those activities you do well. I would love to be a marriage counselor. Okay, done. I actually thought I fit more than three of the six personality categories the test identifies. But if I had to pick three... Realistic, investigative, enterprising. Turns out I got two of the three right. The test said I was social, enterprising, and realistic. Then the ultimate careers were revealed. First up, driving instructor. Very good at that, driving and instructing. And uh, how about a crew cut? Me as a master hairstylist. I like that. How am I doing, by the way? Time to cook with Chef Cuomo, executive chef. Nice. Now we're talking on TV. The first three were worlds away from my chosen path. The fourth was at least in the ballpark. Lawman. I like to be a police officer. Those guys are some of the bravest men and women I know. So it seems I might be trying something new and very different. But that's what makes every GMA day an adventure. You do have to pay to take the test, by the way, but it could be worth it. Teach you something about yourself. What is it? Not, about nine dollars, almost ten dollars. Yeah, we had to pay for the, the test as well. Yeah, chef, huh? I could see that. I would like it. I love those TV cooking shows. Mm -hmm. I, I like to watch them. I don't know about working in a restaurant. Very hard. Very stressful. Oh, it is. As opposed to this job, which it's is so just peach. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could I definitely, because you're always sticking up for for people. Don't know if I'm brave again. enough to do it. Uh, for them to leave the house every day, putting what they do on the line. But yeah. great job. Well, it's interesting to see the spectrum of things that you could do happily, given mm -hmm. your personality. Because sometimes we think, uh, you know, we don't think, well, that also suits the things I loved. <laughs> no. You would not cross the street the wrong way if you were looking at this right now. <laughs> I can't even get my kid to eat his dinner. <laughs>